Oh yeah, that's right. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to kill some spiders and I'm going to install some heated grips. Ever wanted to know what RNG heated grips look like on a CBR 500R? Stick around. Next video, you'll see them in there. Well, by next video, I mean next video in chronological date. I've got a lot of backed up footage. Uh, you know that. <laughs> Why does everybody drive like they're 50,000 years old? Urgh, life is not finite. I can get there anytime I want. <laughs> oh gosh. My teeth keep chewing a hole in the side of my mouth. It's so annoying. I just wish my mouth was leather so that my teeth would just slip off the sides. Does that sound gross? It sounds fucking gross with this freaking helmet. I have to completely change up the way that I speak. I have to kind of pull my lips back and just kind of kind of tuck like this without making my lips move too much. It sounds fucking weird. It feels weirder. Oh well. I guess the uh, solution to that is to stop talking. <laughs> hey! You don't want that, do ya? Do ya? Okay, change your plans. The pass is going to be nice and slippery. I'm going to baby it around here. Yeah, because just look at this weather, guys. Just look at it. It's not going to be too good for anybody. And I bet there's going to be cops. I just know it. But the sun's out at least, so we can enjoy that, right? <laughs> hey! Oh man, look at the fucking view those guys get. Prime real estate, that's what I'm talking about. Steady. I haven't noticed much difference since I adjusted the chain. The throttle is still kind of on-off. On off, 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 on off. You know, it's kind of meh. I don't know if the chain has to be really tight to do that, but I don't want to do that. That's just bad. You need a bit of slack. You do need a bit of slack. Oh, speaking of slack, give me a break. I'm trying to turn here. Dang tires, being all cold and shit. Ooh. Dang suspension, being all bumpy and shit. Ow, ow, my back. I'm an old man. Time to retire. Find a good place in the hills. Settle down. Settle down. Whee. Trucks and buses, boots and gloves. Oh, yeah. Boots and gloves. Boots and gloves. Boots and gloves. I know you guys are missing that sweet Ixel action. Thanks to this dang Senna headset. The different microphone, that's just what it is all about, guys. It's about voice. Not about engine and ambient noise. So that's what I should do, a follow-up of the microphone audio quality. It's, it is CD quality as they advertise. The bitrate proves as much. And I think it's pretty schmick that they actually managed to get such a bitrate over wireless. That's Bluetooth uh, for ya. Bluetooth for ya. Oh, there's a truck. Uh, but oh, there's two trucks. But I do, I do lament that there is a bit of a uh, an inferiority with the uh, the audio quality and. It's all to do with the noise cancelling properties of it. It doesn't record that. You can you could hear the burble right now if um if you're on the normal exhaust. If you're on the normal microphone, I mean it just sounds amazing that drift mic. Full props for that. That thing cost thirty dollars, including postage. Drift has done a magnificent job. The thing, though, 
the thing that impresses me the most is that the drift mic sounds better when it's not paired with the drift. Like, the drift has some sort of audio, um, a DAC issue, I guess you could say. Digital audio conversion. Uh, digital to analog conversion, sorry. And it just sounds weak. It doesn't have any bass. When you add it to the, when you pair it with the GoPro, this is the advantage of the GoPro. Sponsor? No. Oh well. When you add it to the GoPro, it just completely transforms the microphone. It's like you're getting the whole range, whole range of sound. Ooh, this is the one that tightens, doesn't it? Yeah, the double one, double apex. Love it. Yeah, this is a nice little relaxing cruise, isn't it? But yeah, the GoPro mic, the GoPro mic, GoPro uh, drift mic. That's that's the deal. That's the money right there. I wish I could use both of them at the same time. You know, plug a uh, plug the drift mic into this center headset's uh, auxiliary jack and have uh, my cake and eat it too. I guess you can't have your exhaust and hear it too, ladies and gents. That's just a shame. It's just a shame. I could uh, I could carry around my Zoom. I forgot it today, as you can probably tell. I could do that, uh, but I could also uh, not because it takes a lot of time editing. And you know, I'm a lazy person. These last couple of vlogs, you've probably figured that out. Um, I taste blood. Yep, I'm really chewing my mouth up. Ah, uh, it's gonna take a week to heal. This is also why I don't do regular vlogs. <laughs> my helmet, my helmet is gonna be the death of me, man. It's incredibly painful to get on and off with my ears. I have to unfold them all the time. And to top it off, when I speak, when I do vlogs, this happens. Not that. That was just me being a noob. Um, I mean, I mean the chewing. The chewing happens. My lines are all over the shop today. My lines are all over the shop. Easy on the brakes though. I don't want another uh, instant, instant, instant creak. I don't want another Eastern Creek incident. Uh, locking up my back rear, my back rear. Locking up my back brake. I'm pretty sure it was the back brake that locked up. But I didn't see any smoke. I didn't see um, the wheel actually stop moving in the uh, GoPro footage. Which was uh, puzzling. It wasn't compression because my uh, clutch was not in. And I was not... I, th I think it was I, was... I was not shifting down. Basically, I think it was just a matter of... Um, the rear wheel losing so much traction because I was doing so much heavy front braking that it was lifting up just enough to um, actually have the rear wheel off the ground. So it was spinning. Then again, it would have lost straight away, wouldn't it? It would have locked straight away. Just enough to lighten up the back wheel to get it to lose traction. And when I eased off the front brake, it just bounced back down. Nearly, uh, nearly reverse tank slappered me. Because the tank slap is when the handlebars do this. That's when the uh, that's when the tank slapper happens. I don't know what the wiggly the, the wiggly ass is. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it. That kind of thing. I don't know what that does. Ah well, you live and you learn, don't you? You live and you learn. Track days, man. They teach you so much. Like oh my gosh, track days are the best. I mean, sure it costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars and you have to pay for new tires and if you break it, you buy it. No insurance. But if you keep upright, and if you do your thing, and if you ride within your limits, you can do whatever you want there. By that I mean you can ride however you want. Within reason. Don't do what the, uh, the Daytona guy did. Don't do what this guy did.
that's just not cool. That's just not cool. Gear am I in? Either way, the uh, CBR can handle it. Talk, pull me out. Uh, wouldn't get that on a leader bike. Actually, you would, but you wouldn't get it on a, uh, a high revving sports bike anyway. But yeah, track days, they, they make you see the world. They make you see the road in a different light. For sure. It's amazing. Go do one. And if you're in the uh, Eastern Creek area, hit us up. Hit us up. We'll do a track day together. Curry, you got to get faster. <laughs> I'm calling you out, man. That stuff on Kangaroo Valley Road, that was just terrible. Then again, you ride to survive, don't you? There's always two sides to a coin. This guy, this guy's driving to survive. You can tell. You can tell. Oh well, I'm good. I'm good to just sit here and chill. Talk to you guys. I haven't done it in a long time. I need to make up for some lost time. Ah, truck! I need to make up for some lost time, don't I? Make up for it. I'm trying to get back into the two videos a week schedule. I want to just keep down editing. That's, that's I think, the trick is. That's, I think, what the trick is. Not cutting things out, not chopping things around. Just focusing on uh, making a good intro, outro, and just copying things across, not changing it every five seconds. Every two videos, every one video, you know. Every video deserves a different intro, different outro. That was just with the AMB adventure. See, I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to put the extra effort in because the ambience adventure is just so fun. The final, coming soon guys. The finale is coming soon. Rest assured, you will see what happens. Uh, it's, it's kind of underwhelming, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you will see what happens. Woo, get excited. That was McCoy Pass, thank you all very much. Uh, I wish I could keep talking, but I, I've completely lost all trains of thought. So basically, like this video if you like to like videos you like. I watch a YouTube channel called uh, Linus Tech Tips and he also does this. Dislike it if you don't like it, but tell me what it was about. What did you like? Dislike it if you dislike to like videos that you dislike. That makes sense, yes. And I'll see you all next time. Uh, that was terrible, that was a terrible outro. You should be terrible, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh well, I'm out. And it's raining. It's hurting. The Ironman. from Teapot Syndrome. Oh yes, you're a teapot. You're getting full up with rainwater. Yeah. Put you on the boil soon. Make me a nice cuppa. Oh, I can make you coffee when we get the minor taunt one. Make me a nice pot of tea. I could make you a pot of tea. Is oh yeah, yeah. Or I could give you some apple juice, which may or may not be apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite.